Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. We're inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room for today's ISS update. It's Thursday, April 26th, and uh, the team is uh, watching over systems aboard the station, and all is uh, fairly quiet here as the crew members on board the space station are out actually in a sleep shift, changing uh, the schedule of operations on board the complex to get ready for the return of three of the crew members in their Soyuz spacecraft overnight. The crew members, all six of them, woke up about 1 a.m. Central Time this morning and then were scheduled to uh, start their rest period or a nap about 8 a.m. Central Time. And then they are scheduled to uh, get back to work about 2.30 p.m. Central Time all the way through 8 a.m. Friday morning. That includes uh, the time frame when uh, the three crew members will be getting into their Soyuz spacecraft and undocking from the station. Those crew members are the uh, former uh, commander of the station, Expedition 30's uh, Commander Dan Burbank of NASA, seen seated in this view, and his uh, Russian colleagues Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. The uh, three crew members have been living and working together on board the space station for about five and a half months since mid-November. They will be uh, landing in the steppe of uh, Kazakhstan early uh, Friday morning, U.S. time, about 6.45 a.m. Central Time. Three crew members are remaining on board the space station to uh, maintain operations. That includes uh, NASA astronaut Don Pettit, cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, and European Space Agency Andrei Kuipers. And now uh, Kononenko is commander of the space station after a ceremonial handover by Burbank to Kononenko Wednesday afternoon. And Expedition 31 officially begins when the Soyuz spacecraft undocks overnight, and that uh, undocking is scheduled at 3.18 a.m. Central Time Friday morning. The three crew members staying on board the space station have been there since late December and uh, will remain until their return in uh, July. They'll be joined by uh, three additional crew members in mid-May. Those uh, crew members are completing training activities in Star City, Russia, and preparing for uh, their departure to the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on May 2nd. That crew includes cosmonaut Sergei Revin, Gennady Padalka, and NASA astronaut Joe Acaba. With their uh, launch to the complex scheduled for May 14th U.S. time or 15th in Kazakhstan. After uh, the crew members on board the space station have the rest period, they uh, will get uh, busy into the uh, day's work of getting ready for the Soyuz undocking and departure. Some other activities on the schedule today include getting equipment ready for its transfer to the Dragon capsule for its uh, return to Earth eventually. The SpaceX uh, Dragon cargo mission is uh, targeted for launch on uh, May 7th and will uh, deliver cargo to the station and also return uh, equipment to Earth. And uh, astronaut uh, Andre Kuipers is also working with a science experiment today called the VO2 Max, which is studying uh, the effects of microgravity on uh, the human body and the aerobic capacity specifically.